back in today. We're back at the racetrack. You can see there's a bunch of cars out today. Got a demon out. Nice Hellcat. Um, Porsche 911. Barrett Eagle. There's a bunch of cars. Nice Audi. So we're out here today. Gonna make some passes on the red eye. We only have the red eye with us. Um, we already checked in. Just gonna go uh, take the tire pressure down a little bit. And uh, we're ready to go. There's a bunch of cars in there. So, um, yeah, it should be a good night. We're back in the lake. I'm not even sure if you can hear me. It's so loud over here. But we're in the lane. First time, actually. I shouldn't say we're back. Unfortunately, we had the same results on this one as we did the other day. Um, that this time it took the one, two shift decent, a little hard, but decent. And the two, three shift, it just didn't take it, just under the rev limiter. So I took a bunch of air out of the tires. I'm thinking that it's just spinning when it hits, um, goes a shift in the third gear, spinning and hitting traction control or something. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully that fixed it. We're gonna go back out and see probably 30, 40 minutes, we'll be back up. And uh, yeah, hopefully it fixes it. So we'll see. All right, we are back in the lanes. This is definitely the last run of the night. Um, bunch of broken cars, so it's taking a lot, while, lot longer to get through. So last run of the night, only got two runs today. Hopefully we can run it out. If not, I'm gonna try to shift really quick and get right back in it, but we'll see. Hopefully dropping the tire pressure. I got the tire pressure at about uh, 15 PSI right now. So hopefully that's enough to uh, do what we needed to do. Man, every time I get to the track, I just cannot wait to get the Mustang done and out here. I swear it's just 
it eats at me every time I'm here and I hear these cars fire up and oh man a couple more months and we will be out here in a fully built race car Let's go. Oh man, that felt great. Oh, that felt great. Finally, that is the very first time we made it all the way down track in the red eye. I got scared and shifted after the three. I didn't think it was gonna shift and it did. And I clicked the button right after it shifted. So I was in manual after third gear but it took it right away it was the tire pressure i had the tire pressure i guess too high it doesn't like 15 pounds or it doesn't like 20 or 18 pounds i had it at. it has to be at 15 12 so it finally went down oh my god i'm geeked oh i'm so geeked Out of there. 
and when it does that it doesn't let you like it's weird it doesn't let you shift right away it makes you wait until it drops out of the rev limiter to shift which is weird so you gotta wait a little bit to shift obviously so I shift and then it's, it cycles through gear fine after that it goes right through them. Um, so that run was about a 12.4 I think 60 foot was good it was I think the 60 foot was a 158 I believe which is good if I could have had that 60 foot on the second run I would be in the mid 10s easy um, so the second run I get up there and there's just like in drag racing a lot of like if you haven't drag raced at a track before there's just a lot of things to do well like at the run while you're starting the run so I pull into the water box for the in the Hellcat for example I pull into the water box I uh, gotta hit um, line lock on the computer so I gotta take my glove off hit the line lock while I'm still reversing because um, I have street tires so you can't pull right through the water box you have to go around it and then back up so your back tires which are my you know my Mickey's um, so they get the water and then I do the burnout on them and I don't pull any water for it with my street tires so there's just so much to do I'm doing that I'm uh hitting the line lock button putting my glove back on go to do my burnout and the line lock on the Hellcat you have to push the brake in like hard harder than you've ever pushed the brake in like I'm standing on the brake most of the time um, and then you have to hold okay let go of the brake and then you can do the burnout so the second time when I went up in my head I'm like I'm having a hard time doing a burnout it's like the car is stopping it's just not a good burnout so when I watched the video back I didn't have my foot all the way down to engage line lock and I'm holding okay so the traction control is still coming on it just wasn't a good burnout which led to spinning on the launch and when, when you spin on the launch it's, it's pretty hard to recover uh, I think I ran an 11.5 which is the fastest I've got this car so far so that's an accomplishment for me it's not where I want it to be at all I need to be minimum 10.5 every time like I hit the, the strip 10.5 that should what this car should be running um, once I get the drags on the front, I should be low 10s. And, um, yeah, so, uh, it was the tire pressure, I think. I put it down to 15 PSI, and everything worked after that. So, we're just going to keep working, uh, just keep going to the track, practicing. Um, that's all you really can do, is just keep, keep working away at what you're, what you're trying to get to, so... So what we're going to do uh, next time, I believe Friday coming up is the next one, which is actually my birthday. So we'll be out there on my birthday, which hey, I, I'm cool with. Like I couldn't, that's what I want to do on my birthday. Honestly, I couldn't think of anything better to do. So we'll be out there on Friday. We should have the Durango and the Red Eye out. I don't know how many runs we will get because it's usually packed on Friday nights. So probably get two runs in and we'll be done with it um but yeah we uh we got rid of the problem now we just got to keep moving forward getting better times my reaction time absolutely horrible last night horrible first uh first run it was like a half a second unexcusable like just horrible second run it was a little better um i gotta remember on this on the durango i i have launch control on at about 3,000 rpm so it's launching hard as soon as I left my foot off the gas this I can't have I, I haven't been able to put it up that high because I'm trying to get past the problem I finally got past it so now I can put it up a little higher um, but yeah I just it, there's such a delay between the time I hit the gas and the time the car goes so we're gonna get the rpms up a little higher and we should take care of that next time we should have a a one five low one five with one four sixty foot and be running tens all day so thank y'all for watching like comment subscribe uh, we will be working on the fox this week and we'll be at the drag strip friday so we'll keep you guys
guys updated. Thanks for watching.